coconut infused white rice and coconut infused lentil peas with a lovely brown stew chicken with red wine. Come on into Jenny's walk and let's see how to put this divine dish together. Come on in, let's get cooking. Hi my foodies, this is Jenny here from Jenny's Walk. So let's make a lovely combo today. How about some lentils, some stew lentils with some salted beef. Yes, that's the pickled beef. Leave some of that fat in there. So we're going to get some lovely flavors with white rice, which is going to be coconut white rice. We're going to steam that. We're not going to boil it and throw the water off. We're going to steam that rice with some brown stew chicken. Not stew chicken, but brown stew chicken, Jenny style. So for the lentil here, I have my beef. I have some beef taste makers here to bring back some lovely flavors into that salted beef. I have my coconut milk here. I want to give it a lovely flavor. And in here, I have two tomato. I have this fresh pimentos from the beautiful islands. Lots of islands in the Caribbean uses this. It's really lovely, full of flavor, no heat. And here's some Kashmir chilies from India. It is, uh, this is what they will make the sweet paprika with. They have lots of flavors, but no heat. Our bay leaf or laurel, and who know what is this? Let Leave me a note in the comment how many of you know this. Now, I have this in my pot, in my kitchen garden here, in a pot I have it planted. Look at this beautiful leaf. This is Podina leaf or Cuban thyme, Spanish thyme, lots of name. Let me know how you call it, our laurel. And my foodies who follow me, you all know Jenny's work, love her sofrito. Lots of fresh herbs all blended in here together. I'm going to be using two carrots, grate that up nicely. One habanero pepper for heat. And I have an onion I'm going to dice and my garlic. So let's get started. So here in my red lovely pot, it's already up on the heat. I want to add in that, that beef and let this fry really nice and let it release some of that fat. It's going to release some oil is going to render in there and that is what I'm looking for. Okay foodies, this looks about good. So now I'm going to add my flavors, my onion, my bay leaf and my carrots. And I'm going to let this sweat in here for a good five minutes. So this looks about good. I back it up on the side there and I add a one and a half tablespoonful of um, tomato paste. And in here is my garlic. So now I'm going to let this cook for a good two minutes. Lovely flavors here we build in from Jenny's Walk. Let me know where you're tuning in from, Jenny's Walk. So this looks great foodies. Now in goes the tomato with all those peppers and that chopped up. Cuban time in goes that now so there you go foodies all our lovely flavorings in there so now here we have our sofrito and our tastemaker that habanero pepper and in goes our lentils give this a good mix now and I'm going to let this boil to perfection and then in the ending I'm going to show you that little secret okay let's take a look at that lentils now wow this looks good Give it a little move up. Yeah, this looks marvelous. And you could clearly see that the seeds are all cooked. You see the beans is very soft. So now at this point, I want to add my secret. I'm going to be adding some coconut milk at the end of cooking, about a half a can of coconut milk. But this is one pound packet of lentil peas. I tasted it for salt, it needed more taste maker. So as you can see, I added another taste maker in here, the beef taste maker. So now I'm just gonna put the lid back on, give this a good stir, and let it just infuse with that coconut milk just for like three minutes, and then you're gonna turn the heat off. You do not want to cook it for more than that because it's just gonna turn that coconut milk into oil, and we really want the flavor in here. And we're going to garnish with some cilantro. Lovely dish here from Jenny's Walk. Don't forget to like and share. Okay, foodies, with my beautiful clay pot, I can't wait to use it. I'm going to be making that lovely coconut rice. So here I am going to be using some coconut oil. I'm going to leave the link above where you could pick this up from Amazon. I'm going to go in with a good two, let's see, that's about one and a half tablespoonful of coconut oil. And to that, I want to just add onions, just for a little flavor. And this is a piece of the bay leaf. Bay leaf is very long. So I want to toast this up really nicely and toast my rice. So by toasting my rice, I'm going to get a really nice flavor from that rice, a toasty flavor. So in goes that. And I'm going to give a little pinch of Himalayan pink salt. There you go, for some flavoring. And I'm going to be adding some coconut flakes. I'm going to toast that up also. I'm going to show that to you. 
you could get these to buy in the packets just give it a little toast together and like when i'm eating my rice i get a nice little crunch of that coconut flavor in there so let this toast up really nicely now okay foodies so this look toasty and nice remember it's a glazed clay pot so you have to add hot you cannot put cold because it could if you put a different uh, temperature you could temper and break your clay pot so in here I have a cup and a half milk the same cup that I measure my rice which was one cup of rice I use that same rice cup <laughs> it's um, it's not a one cup it is just the cup that you use you use that same cup if you don't have a measuring cup and use one and a half of the same amount in rice so one and a half for the coconut milk and one cup is for the rice give it a good mix let everything dissolve nicely on very low heat Put that clay pot lid on and do not open it for 15 minutes and your rice will be all done. Here at Jenny's Walk, don't forget to like and share these lovely videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook. So here you go foodies, my lovely coconut rice. Okay, so let's make that brown stew chicken now together. So here in my pot I have some oil and here I have my chicken already marinated overnight. Uh, just using those herbs for my sofrito. No salt and just some chicken flavor seasoning and give it a good mix, marinate it overnight. Now you take them out and this is what you're going to do. We're just going to brown beautiful golden brown pieces here. We're going to, on both sides of the meat, that's what we're going to be doing now. Okay foodies, so this is our chicken over here. All brown, really beautiful and nice. Lovely color here. So in here now I have my onions, my green peppers, I have here my uh, allspice, ginger and garlic and I have some green chilies there too. So I'm just going to add this into the pot and let it infuse really nicely. And I'm going to be using a little secret today to make my brown stew chicken. So this looks marvelous my dear foodies. So now what I want to do, I want to add a little bit of tomato paste. I got this from the African store. This is a uh, double concentrate. So we're only going to go in with like a half a teaspoonful. To get some color into our brown stew chicken let's give that a little mash get all those lovely flavors in there get that back in there and now we're going to add i have your fresh tomato and a piece of carrot i'm going to give it a good mix and to this i want to add some chicken base flavor of my chicken to bring back that lovely flavor of chicken in this lovely brown stew chicken here from Jenny's Walk. So let me give this two minutes. So this foodies is cilantro. So what I did, I used a stem part of the cilantro. It's macho cilantro. Very flavorful. I really do love that. So my secret is I'm going to be using some red wine. I know some of you will use that browning going to go with a good half a cup of red wine where my Jamaican brothers and sisters they will make their brown stew chicken by using that gravy master and let it acquire its brownness for the stew from the gravy master and they would also use ketchup but here what Jenny's wok is using this is what my Jamaican brothers and sisters will do to acquire that flavor and that taste no this doesn't have any uh, any taste to it it just have color so what i am doing today i'm just doing mine and my twist i am using red wine and fresh tomato to acquire that lovely stew color and my red wine is going to infuse this brown stew chicken with lots of flavors so let's let this cook down let the wine cook down a little bit and then we're going to infuse our brown chicken which is that fried up chicken what we did there lovely dish here from jenny's walk you know here we're here to learn we're here to share we're here to create okay foodies this looks great now here is one green habanero pepper i give a good slice drop that in there for some heat and now we're going to infuse our brown chicken into that lovely wine with those tomato carrots green peppers I'm just going to mix everything up here really lovely with our ginger and our garlic and everything that goes in. Look at that beautiful color there already. Doesn't that look beautiful? And my kitchen smells awesome. I can't wait to eat. The kitchen smells divine. 
with that lovely wine infused into this I know this will be a delight in any one of your kitchen so let me add some water now let, let's take a look now wow the pot is calling me that's a lot of noise in there wow everything just burnt out there's a little bit of that liquid we see in there so now this is where we're going to add our water now to cook our meat remember all we did was just ground it to get a lot that flavors in it from a lovely marinade there you go so marinate your chicken overnight get all the goodness from all around the pot bring all that in there very good just like so so we have some habanero peppers and we have that little oil spice in there you see these little these little black balls right here yeah all spice and you season the chicken very well and let it marinate overnight in the fridge and you're going to get a really beautiful enjoyable piece of chicken succulent where the meat is where the so here you go foodies my lovely coconut rice done with that nice toasty and toast up the coconut grated coconut itself beautiful in that lovely clay pot and here is my lentils that we made with the coconut milk also and with that smoked meat smoked beef sorry not smoked um pickled salted beef and our brown stew chicken with the wine infused with that lovely red wine so let me try let's do a lovely plate now so here i have my rice and this is a lovely sunday dish that you could make and we're going to just take a little bit of that gravy and just rest it just like so wow kitchen smells marvelous and as we move over here let's take a look at that wow look at the color really beautiful color we got so let's pour that now right I like to flood my plate with my lentil piece. I love stew lentils. And there I have a Kashmir pepper and I have one of those little hot peppers that I managed to put in there. There is our big habanero pepper somewhere around in there. So look at that marvelous dish, my dear foodies. Our lovely stew lentil with brown stew chicken, Jenny style, and some coconut white rice. Divine, lovely dish here. You could make any time meal for your family, whether it be weeknight, during the week, or even on the weekend. So let's take a look at our presentation now. So there we go, foodies. That lovely spread here to enjoy. You could dip in with your fingers. You could have a nice shot of uh, <clears throat> vodka or white rum or a nice glass of wine to invite to in, to indulge into this lovely dish lentil rice and brown stew chicken from jenny's walk enjoy from my kitchen to your kitchen happy cooking